Hello everybody and good evening, my name is Ursa Ryan and this should be quite a fun game. Yeah, I know, I know, I say that every time, but I mean it. I, I was very much between ideas when I was picking this one. I've got a couple of bigger projects and some challenges my Patreon crew have been setting me, but before I tackled that, I need a little bit of sort of a hair down game after that USSR TSL game, which is a huge thing. And I haven't played the Congo in ages, so let's give them a go. No religion, quite good after a Russia game really, but they do get extra food and production and faith and gold and points and, and Banzer districts and all this, you, you can work out what they do in your own time. Come to Discord. Again, yes, I know I say that every time, but you can find the exact seed. These are the deets. If you can't be able to go to Discord and you want to do it the old fashioned way, whilst you're at it, fax me, why not? It's Deity, we've only got Secret Societies mode on today, we're gonna try and go Void Singers because of course that's the natural route for the No Holy Site Congo. Yeah, I know, I know, I just want to get loads of relics and it's the easiest way. I forgot to put candy on this map, which is really annoying, they could randomly pop up but I have no idea. I should have really rigged that one but never mind, but look at the start, there's a wreath. We've got this amazing six-year-old tile, I mean another amazing six-year-old tile over here on this tiny little spice island, which just sounds cute. Get me over there right now, and also some faith, so I could go for a pantheon if I settle near to it. However, this is sea, and this is lake. This is a seven seas map, I believe? Yes, it is. So it's pretty much inland, but yeah, this is going to be intriguing. Oh, I'm going to do my best, by the way, to focus on tourism and merchants. We're going to see if we can go peaceful-ish. But, you know, I like culture games with a little spicy hint of domination. You know, just a little salt from underneath to keep you excited. Mm -hmm. Do I go for the water? Yeah, I'm going to avoid this amazing tile to settle next to, to go for the faith start. Why? Well, I'd rather have the pantheon, I'd rather have the fresh water, and it's only one tile away, so that should be worked pretty quickly. And here's the capital. It's a tasty place. Lovely stuff. We don't have to go for an astrology roost today. A roost? <laughs> an astrology roost. Get the birds out. No, we're going to go animal husbandry. Oh god, here we go. And no heroes today. So I think we'll go scouts. Yeah, why not? Why not? Owls of Minerva. Not Minerva. Minerva. Okay. Yeah, I do try and get my pronunciation right, you know. I don't do it deliberately. I'm useless at pronunciating. <laughs> so just, I, just know that I try, okay? I do try. Oh look, it's Fez. What a great thing for a Congo game. Yay. Actually, to be fair, you can use the Congo with Fez because you do get yourself, where is it? Oh, receives an apostle each time he finishes an Imbanza or Theatre Square district. So look, I can get them if I steal a religion and do it. Um, it's probably not the worst thing. In fact, should we do our usual trick? I can't, I've got quite attached these days to the old Amani start. I'm going to stick her in Fez, because uh, I did get the one envoy. That'll give me the suzerain, which will give me some favour, and it'll actually discover a lot of the map for me in one go, which is quite nice. It helps just to stop the AI from attacking you really quickly, because you can sort of just levy like 200 gold for five warriors. That's enough to hold most deity rushes away. And a three envoy. Not... Void Singers though, which is kind of the more important thing. I mean, actually I say that, Void Singers are not going to be that important until the industrial era, which is when I start to get relics. Um, I also, I've played a couple of games, like off camera recently, where I've been letting barb camps sort of appear and not doing anything about them, and I've regretted it massively each time, so I'm just going to go deal with that quick. Two scouts, there we go, ta-da! Uh, actually, there's some pretty decent river here, which is quite cool. Um, you can see, it doesn't look like anyone's around. I think we're al <laughs> I think we're alone now. Is that what we can say? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Oh, if that's gonna steal it, no, if they didn't. No dogs. Oh, they're playing clever. They're playing clever. I want to see if I can grab that camp if I can. I have to say, with all of this rainforest, it makes me really want to play Brazil. I haven't played Brazil in ages and ages. There we go. There's the score. And there's the gold, but no sanguine pack. So, who knows what's going on there? Oh, look, there we go. Look, I got the good, I got the good tile. Lovely stuff. <laughs> oh my god, the scout is having a go at my city. Leave me alone. Oh, good god. I'm gonna regret that. Haha, <laughs> my scout appeared from nowhere. Lovely stuff. Um, do I go for. Right, now this is the thing. I'm going for a mining. There's some cattle and some horses have appeared, but 
I've got enough rainforest around that I've got enough tiles. I don't really need to rush the improvements, so straight into the settler, I think, whilst I get bronze working sorted. Go on, desert, tribal hut. There's the void singers. Perfect stuff. Okay, and I think I've got another envoy, so I've actually got two in the bank now. That's awesome. God king and discipline. Perfect. I should get a pantheon in the next ten or five turns, I should say. Uh, I have no more land in this direction. And a lot of it is not that settleable, to be fair. Not much fresh water over here. The good thing that I have my own unique neighborhood district, which is awesome. Um, no, there's not much woods and rainforest around here to build it on, but, but it, you know, it, it, it'll do. It'll do. And that's a good camper spot. Look at that. Oh, tasty. Tiles am I working? I'm working a science tile over there, but this tile could get improved. So I'm just going to... I wouldn't normally buy so many tiles at the beginning of the game, but I do kind of want that one. So yeah, that'll help my settling, my, my city just sort of grow nice and quickly. It's a very high production start with very little to do over here. So I'm hoping getting settlers out is not going to be too much of a problem for me. Congo likes quite big cities, so we don't want to be settling too close to ourselves here, actually. I kind of like the idea of spreading myself out just a touch. Probably quite an ambitious plan. As I say, normally I pack him in a little bit more, but as I say, no, no need to with Congo. Huge cities is quite a useful thing. Let's see what pantheon we can get. No settlers? Okay. That's fine, that's fine. River Goddess, my other usual one, I'd, there's no point in going for because it's that is it's fine. I, I don't have anything like that. So, what else can I do? Oh, a three builder stacks well with city growth. The Congo, lots of high population cities with my neighborhood district. So, a three builder, extra city growth. That's not a bad shout, to be fair. Divine Spark, actually combined with amphitheaters, gives me 1.5 great people points per turn extra. Which is just a little bit of improvement, but it's but it's pretty good. I think actually I haven't for a little while gone for fertility rights, so we'll do that. Get our three builder. That'll just help my capital to grow a little bit quicker. Um, I think yeah, we're going to get that capital soon. But we've got pottery. Pottery's all good. I think we're going to try and work something like irrigation now to get the spices worked. Uh, there's no resources to farm for me at the moment, so yeah, but the builder might not have anything to do for a second But it just means I can turbocharge the next settler. If you look at the way the continent shaped as well um, Can we see any more cities? There is No, these are all mountains. No, no, there's no no sign of anybody yet, which is a bit weird But yeah, I just I just feel like is this Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anyone down here. So this is going to be where other people are coming from. So this is the city I'm going to settle first. I kind of want to claim as much of this as I can. Uh, I'm just trying to think of... Actually, do I keep this guy, the builder, around? Do I send it to the new city? I'll keep it around for now. But we'll... Yeah, we'll get the builder... Yeah, the settler working over there. I, okay, right. We're, we're about three different thought processes going on here at the same time. But we're, we'll get there. Settler. 14 turns. It's painful, but we can do it. Kamasi. Trade routes is always a good one. And city states. Construct a government plaza. I absolutely will do that. But I'll just put one envoy in them first. That'll just give me that little bit of extra culture per turn. I think I'm going to... Do I keep Amani and Fez for now for the visibility? Or do I switch over immediately to Kamasi? Uh, and get the visibility over here. I think I might... It works better if you switch here. It feels a bit painful. But we'll do it for now. There we go. Fez is no longer mine, but we'll, we'll continue to be friends with them. Yeah, end of that continent down there. And a bar boat, which is... Oh, don't attack my scout. Come on, there's no need for that. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is near me. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. And they're down here. Okay, so actually going for this settler has worked out to be pretty handy. Awesome, but we all know what really it means when you meet Gilgamesh. Declare friendship! Aha, Gilgabro. What a man. What a man. Gilgamesh will remember this. I know you will, my friend. You're brilliant. Korea. Okay. Well, that means it's a good thing we haven't gone for a scientist game. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Only minus two. We'll send her a delegation. Oh, that's not going to send it. Okay. No delegations allowed. That's, that's fine. And actually thinking about it, we do have already one luxury. Having a plus one amenity city is not really that helpful. So I'm just going to sell it quickly for, yeah, five gold per turn. I'll do that now. You can see Korea has actually taken 
Kamasi quickly, but if I put one more envoy into it, Amani will do her thing. Ta-da! She's done her thing! That's political philosophy, we just met Brussels! Ooh, they want a great scientist. Well, that's, um, it's not going to happen at all, is it? Okay, fine. Um, right, what am I going to do? Is it worth keeping her in Kamasi? No. No, it is not. We're going to switch her immediately and we're going to go after Brussels. Come on, keep switching. City number two. I'm going for a sort of theming where I'm naming things after kind of stuff that's on the, uh, the map. And this is the Congo River. So there you go, there's generic city on Congo. I also had a uh, Kalunda Lake. I just named it after the lake. It's very lazy, but I like it. I also feel more secure knowing that my neighbor is uh, Gilgabro. So I don't need to go for too big a, a, you know, a starting army. Fingers crossed, so I'll go for a builder. Irrigation done. Kaplonk, there's the plantation. I have one more uh, luxury that I could ship for eight gold this time, which I shall. I guess I say, I think the early game gold is always worth more. Switching to urban planning. I should help my settlers and my builders from pop up a little bit quicker than before. There's the barb camp taken right by my capital as well. Again, I'm just keeping these guys around. I just don't trust. Don't trust at all. Do I go and settle up the river a little bit? There is a lovely tile over there. Lovely tile over there. And it just presses a little bit more into this direction, stopping Gilgabro from attacking. Oh, look, they've, uh, I think they may have just got flooded a little bit there. We'll ignore that one. Yeah, sod it. Let's do it. Brazil. Wonderful. We love having Brazil in the games. It means the writers all get taken up really quickly, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll handle it. Here's a quarry. Knowledge of masonry boosted. Brilliant. Um, generic city on Congo is doing okay for now. Horseback riding boosted. Perfect. Okay, we're getting there now. Early Empire will help me to get a few more settlers going. Be tasty. Brown Giant's Causeway. Oh, Gilgamesh has the Giant's Causeway. That's always a little bit worrying, isn't it? But never mind. Oh, I love it when the deity AI gets a, gets a wonder bonus. Like a wonder start. You're like, oh good, I was worried that you didn't have enough of an advantage at the beginning of the game. Thank goodness. Normal age for me. That's okay. Uh, for inquiry. For inquiry is awesome. Do we get any iron? Korea's got a bunch of iron already. Don't think I got... Oh no, there is some in the middle. Okay, so we've got horses, we've got iron, we've got a bit of everything this game. It's not too bad. Yeah. Zulu. Oh, some African competition. Nice to meet you, my friend. And they're at war with Korea. Intriguing. That could be a very early death for Korea if they're not careful. One more city over here. And a nice gap of the loyalty pressure as well. Giving me the delicious spices. Look at this. Oh, it's going to be spice rhythmic. Which, of course, as we all know, is a word. That's actually, I want to boost currency. I want my capital to be a little bit better. So I'm just going to spend some of my starting gold on a trader. I was thinking about getting myself a settler, but I think for now it's fine. Just still buying up diplomatic favor. I've got 87 of it already. And I'm going to send it all the way through to Spice Town. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. That's going to be a wonderful jungle route for me. Tasty. Currency boosted. That means I can get myself the commercial hubs down nice and quickly. Brazil wants to be my friend. I think it's because he doesn't think I have any great people. You just wait, my friend. You just wait. Okay, state workforce is now done. That's a good thing. I need to get the Void Singers in, but Magnus to start with in my capital is going to be really good. Let's get the government plaza sorted. Yeah, I think I want this to look a little bit like that. Uh, water park and then Huey. Yes, yes, okay, that's that's good. This is this is a good selection of districts, I think. I kind of want to destroy, I don't want to get rid of that wood space, so let's just get the builder in quick and I can chop it down manually. With Magnus on the way, no need to rush. I also can't resist a plus four campus, it's kind of got to be done. Copper, I'm not, so, I'm not such a huge fan of, of, of yielding that um, or sort of chopping that down. Doesn't give you quite the same bonus. There we go, Brazil are now buying the favor. I don't think I'm going to want to wait to save that for anything better, so I'll just quickly pop that in. Got 39 gold per turn coming in now. Lovely stuff. Oh, Brazil, 23 scientist points per turn. I think they are heavily going to science this game. That's, um, that's pretty crazy. I'm not really going to be going for campuses this game. I should point that out. Like, there's a couple of really good locations, and I feel bad about not going for them, but... 
Yeah, for now it's okay. Magnus, I'm just going to wait on for a second and just get Void Singers in quickly. That'll just convert my two monuments I've got in this city and this city into faith-giving monuments, which is pretty cool. Okay, time for infrastructure. Let's quickly do this chop first. It's 57 production, means I can now get the government plaza in in one turn. Uh, which is sped up a little bit by the fact that I'm just about to get rid of this wood. Uh, now that I've got that, Magnus can come in and give itself a settler's promotion. Good. Provision. Uh, this has worked out quite well, actually. Quite well indeed. Should have a little bit of a production overflow, but not, not a huge amount. But should we get the campus locked in? It's a nice plus five. There's nothing to scoff at that. Um, let's do that. Let's get the campus in. And then, now that we've got provision, I'll use the gold to get the settler, which is kind of what I was waiting for. So there we go, we should be able to get to four uh, settlements pretty quickly. No point going further west, so I think I'm going to go down here, actually. Um, we'll settle to this one, and then I'll go and try and stop the, um, you know, the, the small chance of Gilgamesh going through Thez and settling onto that lake. Now, everybody, no one likes Korea. <laughs> so that's fine I'm trading luxuries with them but those deals are about to expire anyway so I'm going to denounce them and hope that one of the three people I'm now friends with will do a generous joint war with me which you know these things do happen as we've been proving quite regularly on our TSL games so you know it's worth doing political philosophy classical republic yay okay now that we've sung that song uh, builders urban planning and then colonialization that's the good triple threat that we know and love plus two influence points per turn is tasty as well great that'll help me to just get that next one. Oh look i didn't even need to buy that tile that's awesome let's uh do i chop it down no what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna release the campus get a builder going and then chop the builder through and then pop back to the campus and then I can go around actually trying to improve some of these tiles that I'm chopping down. Actually, let's just get the commercial hub locked in. I need to get better at doing this. This game, I'm always terrible at locking in the production of districts. Definitely need to do a little bit better at that. Um, this commercial hub feels annoying to lock this one in over the campus, but we're going to do that. Um, actually, you know what? I could probably do some nice aqueducting between cities. They're a little bit far away, unfortunately. But uh, I could probably do it between two cities here, actually, so, so it doesn't really matter. Hang on, let me think about this. This plan is so crazy, it might just work. Okay, we will be putting another city down there, so let's just, again, lock in the old commercial hub. Nice and quick smart. And then we'll get that builder done. Nice superb campus, which would be an amazing thing in any other game. But in this game, where it's turn 60, and the AI has 77, 62, and 49 science per turn, yeah, it's um, it's not quite what we need it to be, really, is it? Irish Fountain event. of Youth? Oh, that would just skip to, like crazy. Geneva. Why oh, is the first person to meet Geneva? I've been waiting for an envoy on Brussels for ages, but it's not coming. But I'm just going to quickly do the Amani swap to Geneva. That's far better. Excellent stuff. There is this city now. Lovely, that's my fourth. Whereas this city is the generic city on Congo. This one is the specific city on Congo. I think it's quite clear that one is one and the other is the other, you know? I, I feel like people will get that down pretty quick. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, I said I was going to keep my cities nice and spread. I'm kind of thinking doing that now. Just A, because I'll get a lovely canal city set up. But B, I can do an old 1-2 industrial complex on these ones, which kind of I needed to do. Trying to get better at pinning again. I used to be so good at doing the pinning and I just forget to do it now and it's atrocious. There we go. It's a nice little setup there. So actually, let's get the commercial hub going in that city. Okay, cool. Right, this is fine. <laughs> I think I found evidence of a, of a continental fault here. That's a weird graphics problem. Ugh, look at that. It's just kind of like this weird blue line through the land. Do you see it? Oh, I'm going to avoid that. Oh no, it's Genghis. He's here. He wants to go a-prowling. Where is he? Oh, he's actually... Oh, he's on the continent. Right the other side here. I was kind of hoping that the other side of the sea would be some space, but clearly not. Managed to pick up another two envoys from tribal huts, which is just wonderful stuff. Great.
I think I kind of want Fez back. I mean, Geneva I'm just about to pick up. Uh, I think it's probably the best one. Yeah, let's do that. It gives me great visibility just in the continent around my cities. Geneva bows to the Congo. Very nice. No tribal huts over there for me to get, but that's good. Okay, we've got four, no, three city-states on side at the moment, and a nice 15% science boost. I'm not going to be the tech leader in this game. Oh, loads of tribal huts down this way. Nobody's coming in that direction. No, yeah, no tech leading going on in this game, but if I can at the very least just keep up with people so I'm not going to get swamped, that'll be tasty. Commercial hub is done. A bit more gold, and I should be the first person getting merchant points. And don't forget, I get 50% more. Because I'm the Congo. Congo love merchants. I've got one, two more districts being built here and there as well, which is awesome. Cool. Ah, oh, right. Well, this is this is great. Okay, we've got buildings we can we can put down. I quite like um, an ancestral hall soon, but I think I'm going to get the industrial zone in my capital first. So let's just get the builder going quick. Uh, get the theatre square going as well. I really want to get some writers in and get the policy card in to get myself writer points. That would be very nice. I can get any of the great writers at the beginning of the game, that'd be awesome. Oh, thank you, just leaving your hut open for me, that's very sweet. In fact, there it is. Gilgamesh wants the joint war with Korea. Perfect, that's giving me 27 gold per turn and 300 up front, which is treasury filling levels of gold. Now, who's Korea not at war with? Genghis Khan and Brazil. I reckon we can persuade, no, Genghis doesn't want to go. He realizes the horses can't cross the sea, which kind of makes sense. However, Brazil, <laughs> Brazil is is super keen on this deal. Hang on. Yeah, we'll go, man. We'll do it. Perfect. So that's everyone at war with Korea now. Serves you right for being the tech leader. I think Kamasi keeps me safe from their cities. Although, actually, I've just realized the swordsman is right there. So that's probably not a sensible thing to have just done. Um, hang on. The archer. I think, was there a city-state? Yeah, there's one did an archer. I do, that's my war gold. I've got an archer in there now. That's fine. Go buy this tile as well quickly. Uh, I need to get myself another mine for apprenticeship, so I'm just chopping that and then I'll get the builder in quickly to go and fix it for me. There's the final mine. Apprenticeship is boosted. First writer just went as well though, which is really annoying, so maybe I should focus on getting the first engineer in a tap. I can always buy the writers in if I want to. Archaeological museums are the bigger thing that I'm looking for. Because uh, obviously relics are really good and I want to get as many relics as I can. In fact, I should just double checking. It's always worth keeping an eye on to see if people actually own relics now. Nah. Yeah, never mind. Uh, settlers, I'm not doing that at the moment. So let's go for writers. Hurrah. Okay, cool. Right, this will just help me start getting some writer points. I'd quite like to get any from the beginning if I can. Keep chomping in my capital. Also going to nicely pick up a market. A bit more gold per turn, but also uh, more merchant points. Oh, I think Kamasi may be killed by Korea, which is a little bit annoying, but, you know, these things happen. Um, in fact, actually, that's, that is a little bit annoying because I was about to get a nice trade route uh, that is going to give me lots of culture per turn. So I'll send one to Fez for now. That'll give me just quite a big boost, and then we'll, we'll kind of rock it from there. Kablam! Right, I'm hoping that's this city now. Um, oh, it's not quite at 10 pop. Oh, that's so annoying. I was really hoping I would get it to 10 pop, that boost. But it didn't. Never mind. Um, I think the library is next turn's food. So we'll do that. And should we get another trader in quickly, actually? Just to get another turn's worth of culture quickly? I think I should. It's quite a nice little boost. We'll get that trader in. And then what am I going to do in my capital for now? Theatre Square's cool, Commercial Hub District's good as well, look at this, I'm getting tons of merchant points, lovely stuff. I think the best thing to do is to go for another builder, for oh no, Settler, Settler, let's do it, and then I'll switch urban planning over to colonialization, cool. Right, that'll do it. Pingala's going to go into generic city as well, lovely stuff. Oh. Controversy. Okay, we've got Kublai in charge of China. So, it's a bit uh, funny for old Mongolia over there, but never mind. 10 pop capital. Brilliant stuff. Okay, right now we can immediately get the industrial zone down. It's not the theatre square that I wanted, but I'm not racing through on these early game writers. We're going to have to buy those, so I'd rather go for the early game engineers. That'll help me massively. Oh, Korea's about to take Kamasi, but they're my allies. If I make peace with Korea, which I'm hoping, they'll be able to open, they'll do that pretty easily. Hang on, I'll just buy a luxury from them just to cement the deal. Lovely. Now, 
Haha, -ha, they have to leave Kamasi alone. That was a master stroke. Okay, cool. So we've actually got two trade routes now that are giving me 13 culture per turn from my capital, which is just insane. That was a massive misplay by Korea, and we will take it. Construction's done, which means the lumber mill can get finished. Actually, these cities are generally getting pretty decent all of a sudden. Like, I've got a, a decent, like, head of steam going here. I've, my capital needs more culture which is getting quickly, but I need to be able to work better tiles than it is. The builders are, are struggling to put anything down that's worth improving at the moment, which, which isn't great. And Georgia is the last person on the map. Hello, Georgia. Okay, you may have taken China's capital there, but, you know, credit to you. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Open borders. Oh, these guys have got the first book. All right, fine. Good to know. Got to keep an eye out for that. See if we can buy the books later. I was the first to meet everyone, actually. That's pretty cool. And I'm not far off a circumnavigation, so that's got to be a cool thing as well. First merchant, Marcus Linicius Crassus. Very nice. I've got 8.2 per turn coming in now. I've got Kalanius as well coming in. Awesome. That's great. Now, this guy can purchase in tiles. Um, that's really useful for my capital, actually, because my capital needs to work better stuff. In fact, I should just go take this cattle tile first. I'll get that improved. That'll be pretty nice to do. Um, in fact, actually, let's just do a builder first and then we'll do that. Wonderful. Oh, I've got friends over here as well. 60 gold whenever you pop them as well. It's really nice. Cool. It's a better tile for my capital. Um, I think there was some... Yeah, look at that. That's a nice hill tile and I'll go get the tobacco over in this direction as well. Good. Good, good, good. You can see I'm busy chopping now around generic city on Congo, which is tasty. I'm hoping an aqueduct can be put directly over the river. Oh no, it can't. Of course it can't. Uh, right. Do I still want to put the industrial zone there? Is it worth it? That is probably not the case, actually. Let's not put it there. I'm going to put it over there on this tile instead, like so. Well, hey. Well, actually, I can use my thief to pinch a great writer. That's really cool. I will do that because I think, yeah, that's okay. That's one of the the, the first ones. Brilliant. Oh, that'll help to just get my culture up just a little bit. See, look, Faith is good with the Congo. You don't feel like you need it, but you, you can get it. Okay, Deity Game. I managed to get a Golden Age in this era, which is the um, medieval era. And I also managed to get one of the four great writers at the start of the game. I will take that. That is not a bad... Not a bad result for me at all. Monumentality, using my spare faith to get um, more settlers and builders and things. I think it's probably the best thing to do. Natural philosophy is just sticking my science up to 40 per turn. And we're going to go for chorus, which will turn my 20 faith into 4 science, 4 culture, and 4 gold. That's pretty poor. It's not what the Congo are about, this, but... It, you know, every little helps. It's actually meaning that I'm staying relevant on science. I'm only 10 techs behind Brazil. Brazil are six ahead of Korea. I've never seen them jump ahead that quickly. I love it. Let's think about this carefully. Who owns a religion? China and Georgia. So, Eastern Orthodoxy and Buddhism. Who has the most fever? Georgia has very little, so does China. So, really, I can kind of pick which way this one goes. Uh, choral music helps things with holy sites. We're not going to have any of that. And feed the world also with holy sites. So, you know, what? I'm going to vote Buddhism because feed the world never gets through. And I like it when it does. And then chosen player receives more grievances, 100% more for career. I just feel like career have annoyed everybody in this game. So we'll vote for them, but we'll see what happens. Korea, Buddhism, two that points. Happened. Two points to good old Congo. Nice little new city over here. Do I just wait four turns to get feudalism? And then I get two more builders. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. It's not worth rushing, Ryan. Here's the next merchant. Grants one copy of a luxury resource to my capital. Awesome. I just got to go find something my capital hasn't got, which is most things, really. Silver? Pretty sure I haven't got any silver, so off you pop. 169 gold for Korea's great work of writing. That's pretty good. I, I think it's worth getting them in at this early stage before the AI starts to value them too heavily. So that's two more I've just done. 12 culture in my capital. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've got my uh, industrial zone now sorted as well, which is very helpful. Um, I now need my 13 population to get my theater square. Once I've got feudalism, 
Actually, I can hone in on guilds after that point. Get the banzers going. God, that'll be good when that starts to rock. I think now, actually, my capital, I'm just going to slush it with some money, but some settlers will be decent. This is quite useful. Um, I can buy three diplomatic favour for one gold per turn and sell it. Hang on, if I show you. Three for one, and I can sell it at two for one with Georgia. So I'm making a slight profit on the market here. It's not a big profit, but it's a small profit. And that is what we like to do. Career has denounced me again. Kamasi has got its walls back, pretty much. Um, so do we do we see if anyone now wants to go to war, formal war? I mean, it's, I mean, Korea don't like anyone, do they? No, they really don't. Okay, let's have a look and see if anyone wants it in. Yes, actually. And Genghis will give me two books. I don't think two books... Oh, no, oh God, I've got loads of old gob obelisks. Old gob obelisks? <laughs> I've got some gobs. So let's do it. One, two get that going i'll grab 20 of that knight are you not going to give me horses no and iron no no they're not going to give me anything else but uh hang on i'm what i just need to double check i've got some settlers on the way here i'm just about to settle some new cities i might just quickly pop them up and then declare afterwards i don't want to rush this one through and then end up the swordsman right on my new cities perfect serfdom done builders I get two for every city I pop down now. So, hang on, let's just quickly go and pop you there. And then I will go Quo Blamo. Again, it's just an extra two charges on the builder. It means that I can go and just make this city up nice and quickly. Get a nice harbour going as well. I don't think many people will have harbours. Nope, nobody's got any harbours going. So, they're, all of the admirals are basically mine if I can hold on to them. Diplomatic League. Okay, that means I can now get Nan the Doll on side, which gives me... Plus two culture for all of my districts on lakes or the ocean, which is another 10 culture per turn. And also a bit of visibility up here. So I've met Preslav as well. Oh, my word. Oh, this, this game's going brilliantly so far. I forget how good the Congo are to play. They're, they're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, now I've got the cities up and running. Now we can do this lovely joint war. Okay, I think I've actually lost out a little bit on the old gold. Unless I... Oh, you know what? Actually, I can buy something off Genghis and then take the gold back. Hang on. So what do I... Okay, right. Let's think about this. What could I buy from them? Not much, really. Okay, that's that's a bit pointless. Yeah, it, it made sense in my head, but there's no point. I mean, I'm, I'm taking it anyway. So... <laughs> oh, dear. Right, there we go. There's the war. I get two great works for that one, which is lovely. Um, and we're just going to make sure... I mean, Zulu, are you sure you don't want to join in on this war? They really don't. It's a shame, that. Um, and we've got two books of them <laughs> of their own, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Before I forget, some alliances. Gilgabro gets the military alliance. Of course he does. Um, and then... Uh, I just need to think about this. I think Brazil are going to get a cultural alliance so that my cities don't get nuked <laughs> from the side with culture. We'll go for economic for Zulu. Um, let's go for a religious with China because they do have a religion so they normally like going for those. And then we'll hope that we can entice either uh, Genghis or Georgia over who may both like me. So I'm hoping... No, they don't want friendship. They don't want friendship. Okay, well, we'll hope we can get one of those two involved. One way sooner than expected, the Avanza district. Perfect. So these things, no matter where you place them, give five housing, two food, four gold, regardless of appeal. Uh, but you have to build them on woods and rainforest. So, I mean, that's that's pretty decent. I mean, we've got a housing crisis in most of my cities at the moment. So I'm just going to quickly pop one of these down. Well, everywhere. Ah, here's the last alliance as well. Perfect. Oh, I just finished two industrial zones in one turn. That's pretty cool. Nice. Okay, so this city's now 23 production, 20 production. Over here is 25. Nothing spectacular. Nothing is spectacular, but it's it's doing okay. And a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trafodaspi, Paul Coffey, for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes, subscribes, joins Discord, and does all the silly things that keeps this channel going. Thank you so much.